Hey guys, just a guy here with another episode of uh, Elder Scrolls Arena. Um, just been doing some business in town. Uh, identified all my magical items. Sold the junk ones. So we got, you know, our bracelets and stuff. Um, I actually stole this one, the bracelet of agility from the maid shop just now because I was low on money. Um, funny thing is, is they don't even sell this there. So I don't know how the stealing table and the buying table is because all they had was a bracelet of strength for sale. But um, I don't want to wear it just yet because I like the bracelet of luck because luck kind of determines what loot you get in dungeons and all that other stuff. So, yeah. Uh, funny thing is, is... I actually made a spell uh, called Five Finger Discount. Oops. Well, maybe it'll be easier to show it there. But it's just to fortify a uh, agility spell to uh, increase my chances. Uh, I don't really have a great chance anyways. I think it took like five attempts to get something. A couple times they didn't uh, necessarily catch me, but I didn't get anything. And then a couple times the guards came. And I was killing them just to get some money because I didn't have enough for the end or anything. Uh, but our goal today is side quest. Um, now, I was always going to these villagers and asking for work. And apparently that just gives you the garbage little go to fetch quest to the end things. Um, but if you go to general under rumors... They'll tell you thing. Um, they'll tell you a bunch of garbage stuff, right? But if you keep going, apparently, eventually you'll get something like a fetch quest. But it's an artifact quest. So I'll just do this real quick and. Here we go. The ring of the Khajiit that's supposed to turn anyone who wears it invisible. Well, I was talking to a gentleman who's saying, just west here, the Syrian galley, he says he knows where a ring is. Or maybe he knew where it was. Get the map. He wanted more money for his information than I have, but maybe you're interested. So this is the start of an artifact quest. Um, so if we go to our quest log here, right? Um, maybe, maybe not. Let's tr keep, he's supposed to tell us where. To... Oh, well, yeah, so I'll keep going. Plus I didn't really want the ring. Apparently there's a bunch of different ones and, uh, they do different things. So I just kept talking to this guy. Eventually he gave me actual directions to something. Uh, there's a place called the Red Cutlass or something here. Where it is. And he says there's a guy there who will give me instructions on some magical coffer. Um, so. Let's go. In. The Restless Cutlass. Southeast. Here we are, guys, and there's a third end right there, too. As you saw, though, um, I cast Fleet Speed Spell, which boosts my uh, speed to 100, or 80, I guess. It seemed to really improve my turning radius, but I don't know if it really improved my walking speed that much. I use it to get around town faster. Um, hello? All right, look strangely at you. Mention the comfort as if it answers your I am Beckham. I know I'm finding you find the King ben King Orkram's coffer, and I will tell you for a price, of course, in her gold pieces to be exact. This may seem like a lot of money, but with the coffer, you will have a daily income of most people in rehead dream of making annually I think the price is fair you reply could you I guess this one gives you free money um do I have
Good day. I have a little problem I helped you be able to solve. For a reasonable business, my cousin needs to get to the order of the Golden Tomb by Sunday, 6th. Sorry, evening. I have a couple of swordsmen hired to escort her there. But wound up dead half an hour ago. I chopped them into goblin snacks by the After Dark Society. I was going to have my company order gal <clears throat> my contact in the order of the Golden Tomb pay them 133 gold. That's money is yours if you take their place. So I guess I'm gonna do this real quick and hope the other thing doesn't go away. Because how much money do I have? 794. I was so close. Now I need to escort this guy. Oh, I got a little person in the corner. That's interesting. That's where the key was earlier. That I found that iron key that I ended up not needing after I found it. Well, I couldn't pick it up. Okay, now. Luckily, my journal... Golden Tomb. It's the right place. Now where's that priest? There we go. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So I got 133 gold to pack across the city. That's pretty crazy. Previously, I was getting like 75 gold. Maybe it's based on your level. But how much do I have now? 927, and he wanted like 8 something last time. Hopefully he's still there. Alright, we made it back with the money. Hopefully the guy's still here. Alright. Yeah, okay. Yes. Offer still stands, Lucky P. I'll share you with 890. King uh, Orgrim's lost his coffer 80 or more years ago during one of the marine battles with the Emperor of Tam Tamriel, who was the Anticus Septim. Okay, after the loss, Orgrim's island, Kingdom of Pandasia, ceased to be a world power, probably because the king could no longer afford a great fleet as before the coffer. Wash the shores on the Somerset Isle where it was elusive, an elusive presence. If I were you, I'd go to the, a place called the Cavern of Helifang and see if you can find the map that leads to the coffer. Uh, it'll inscribe the location on your map of the, on, on the continent. I wish you luck. Okay. All right. So we need to Somerset Isle. And Caves of Something. Supposedly on our map. Cavern of Helifong is the thing, yeah. Thirteen days, yes. Go horsey. All right. We know nothing. Okay, let's save. So I have to try to find this place again. <clears throat> 